Bloom's taxonomy is a cognitive classification system first proposed by Benjamin Bloom in 1956. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes first appeared in the novel A Study in Scarlet in 1887. Today, both have appeared in BBC's modern crime drama Sherlock. A quick look at its debut episode, A Study in Pink, will show the close ties between the two. A first look at Holmes's superior knowledge of trivia demonstrates the first objective of Bloom's. <laughs> Understanding the meaning behind that knowledge is the next step. She's German. Rache. German for revenge. She could be trying to tell us Yes, something. thank you for your input. But sometimes we must dig deeper to find the true meaning of things. Once the knowledge is understood, it must be put to use. Here we see Sherlock's realization of the practical use of the victim's last message. Rachel! Did you see... Rachel! <sighs> Look at you lot, you're all so vacant. Is it nice not being me? It must be so relaxing. Rachel is not a name. And what is it? John, on the luggage there's a label. Email address. Uh, Jenny.pink at mephone.org.uk Oh, I've been too slow. She didn't have a laptop, which means she did her business on her phone. So it's a smartphone. It's email enabled. So there was a website for her account. The username is her email address. And all together now, the password is... Rachel. With a serial killer on the loose, Sherlock must analyze the trail of clues left behind by the last victim to find the perpetrator. So we can read her email, so what? Anderson, don't talk out loud. You lower the IQ of the whole street. We can do much more than just read her emails. It's a smartphone. It's got GPS, which means if you lose it, you can locate it online. She's leading us directly to the man who killed her. Unless he got rid of her. We know he didn't. Face to face with a killer, Holmes must quickly evaluate the deadly situation. Time to choose. What if I don't choose either? I could just walk out of here. You can take a 50-50 chance. Or I can shoot you in the head. Funny enough, no one's ever gone for that option. I'll have the gun, please. Are you sure? Definitely. The gun. You don't want to phone a friend? The gun. The killer is shot, and Sherlock uses what he knows about the scene and what he's learned about life to create a plan on the fly to swallow his pride and cover for the friend who saved him, something he would have never dreamed of doing before. Got nothing to go on. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Okay, give me. The bullet they just dug out of the walls from a handgun. Kill shot over that distance from that kind of a weapon, that's a crack shot you're looking for, but not just a marksman. The fighter, his hands couldn't have shaken the tools. It clearly is acclimatized to violence. He didn't find until I was in immediate danger, though. It's a strong moral principle. You're looking for a man probably with a history of military service and nerves of steel. Actually, do you know what? Ignore me. Sorry? Ignore all of that. It's just the, uh, the shock talking. Where are you going? I just need to talk about the, the rent. I've still got questions oh, what for you. now? I'm in shock. Look, I've got a blanket. Rachel! Did you see... Rachel!